Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be introducing the first of a three-part series where I uh, talk very briefly about the different art teachers I had throughout my life and kind of the different ways that they influenced me as an artist uh, and shaped me into, you know, the artist that I am today. Uh, so for part one, we're going to go back to the very first art teacher I ever had and uh, We're gonna call her mrs. D now mrs. D was the art teacher at the private Catholic school that I went to for nine years in elementary school from preschool till sixth grade um, long story short it was a nightmare. I hated it and I will never send my children to Catholic school, ever. It was also really expensive, but that's besides the point. Mrs. D was, um, in my opinion, a very good artist. She was obviously talented enough and knowledgeable enough to get a job teaching in a school, um, but the thing that she influenced me the most with is just how do how do i properly word this let's just say it this way when you're teaching a bunch of nine-year-olds how to draw you you tend you learn that they become frustrated very quickly when you know the teacher is able to draw an eye perfectly and the shape looks real and then when the student goes to do it you know it looks like a crooked almond so i think uh the thing that i took away from mrs d the most is to have patience both with myself and with uh the drawing or art that i'm working on um a lot of times when i'm working on pieces and it's not coming out the way I want it to. I always just kind of remember, you know, what Mrs. D used to say to us. And it was, if you ever feel like you're frustrated with yourself or your drawing. And you don't know why something's not coming out the way you want it to. Just stop what you're doing and move on to something else. And I think this can be interpreted in several ways. So for example, uh, on this sketch page, I am drawing various kinds of eyes. And so, you know, when the shape of the eye started to frustrate me or, you know, I wasn't getting the, you know, the lines were too thick or it just didn't look, like, look right to me and I started to get frustrated, I would just drop it and move on to the next drawing so that way I was still drawing and I was still practicing but I, I I was able to move on to something else and kind of let go of my frustration about that drawing that was giving me a hard time and so when I came back to it later and I no was no longer frustrated with it or myself I could I could properly finish off the drawing and just achieve a better, you know, end result than I would have if I'd continued to, you know, try and work on the same drawing over and over and over again and just got more and more frustrated with the drawing in myself. So, yeah, um, it was kind of hard to remember the things that Mrs. D taught us uh, because it, 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 it's been so long since I've had her. I haven't had her as a teacher since I was 12 and I'm, you know, 18 now. So uh, it was a little difficult to remember kind of how she taught and what she taught. But, you know, her words about just taking things in stride and moving on to something else when you feel frustrated really stuck with me. And just I think has helped me in a very large variety of aspects of my life not just with art 
And so, yeah, that's just a little tidbit about what I learned from my elementary school art teacher. Uh, like I said earlier, this is the first of a three-part series where I'm going to go over uh, elementary school, then I'll move on to my middle school art teacher next week, and then the week after I will be talking about my high school teacher and more specifically uh, the art program that I was in uh, for high school. So, yeah. So this is the final spread for this page. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you for part two next week. Thanks so much for watching! If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I come out with new videos every single week. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye!